Michael was an incredible, incredible human. You know, there'll be many, many people that will talk about his political legacy. And that in itself, uh, you know, he packed a lifetime of service into his years as a politician. Um, but I'll remember him as just being a thoroughly decent human being who I will miss so, so much. His legacy in terms of what he has left New Zealand is extraordinary. Uh, most politicians, if they could claim one of Michael's legacy achievements, would declare themselves satisfied with their political career. But to be the architect of Working for Families, of the New Zealand Superannuation Fund, of KiwiSaver and of other uh, initiatives is an extraordinary achievement. I believe he has one of the most significant political legacies in New Zealand's history. On every single one of those initiatives, he's touched the lives of New Zealanders. When people take a look at their KiwiSaver balance or when uh, New Zealand superannuation payments come through or when Working for Families payments come through in hundreds of thousands of households in New Zealand, it's Michael Cullen that people can thank for those initiatives being in place. He has touched the lives of every single New Zealander. Beyond um, his time in politics, I want to acknowledge too his extraordinary public service continued. Um, he was the uh, chair of New Zealand Post. Uh, he was involved in the tax working group, the Earthquake Commission. But I know from talking to Michael, one of the things that gave him the greatest joy in his post-politics life was his work with iwi around the country, and in particular Tuhui and Tuwhiritoa. And I acknowledge the people of those iwi today and that they will be mourning his loss as well. Uh, he really uh, felt something deep in his soul that he was doing good work post-politics when he was working uh, with those iwi groups. Uh, and finally, I want to just reflect a little bit on the kind of person that Michael was. Um, he was kind and he was generous and he was funny and witty. And you saw some of that in the public arena, but he saved a lot of his kindness for private moments. Uh, for Labour MPs in particular and Labour candidates, he would often be not only a, core, uh, a source of support and uh, advice, but often financial support as well, which he never wanted um, people to know about. It was always under the limit. Uh, and he always made sure that if someone needed help, often at a personal level rather than a political level, he was there for them. Um, I grew up in South Dunedin in the St Kilda electorate where Michael was the MP. Uh, my mother actually reminded me this morning that um, a Polish refugee family that, that my family and our church supported to come into New Zealand in the early 1980s, it was Michael who made that happen as a local MP. And um, I've already mentioned this in other media today, but in some more than 30 years ago when I was the head boy of King's High School in South Dunedin and we couldn't get our school rebuilt, um, I went and visited Michael in his electorate office as the MP. He remembers this interaction better than I do, uh, but I, I remember the fact that he was the person who made sure that our school got rebuilt in a community that wasn't a wealthy one, um, and he was so generous with all of that time. Um, he provided a great deal of personal support to ministers of the current government, um, particularly the Prime Minister and myself, uh, but others as well. Uh, and we greatly benefited from his advice, um, his support, his uh, laughter that he provided us and the occasional chiding for things that he didn't uh, completely agree with. I know that Michael was very proud of this government. He was especially proud of the Prime Minister. And I think um, that... You know, he, he saw in Jacinda the kind of leadership that he'd seen in Helen, I think, but I think he says something about that in the book as well. And, uh, you know, he, he, he taught us a lot, he taught me a lot, about the importance of the role that I've got in supporting a leader when you've got a leader like Helen or a leader like Jacinda. Um, my colleague, uh, Kitty Allen, who was also very close to Michael and Anne, um, highlighted a, a piece of his book that I just want to finish my comments on today. Uh, Michael says in his recently released autobiography, I do wish to go gentle into the good night. Raging against the dying of the light is a pointless exercise. Death is no more than the space we make for others to live. And Michael made space not only in his death but in his life for others. And we are hugely grateful for that. And I am going to miss my friend greatly. Any questions? <laughs>